This morning, I'm dealing with terms and conditions. This whole week, we're talking about terms and conditions. Yesterday, we kicked it off, and this morning, I want to press and drill down deeper the text, the talk, and the takeaway, terms and conditions. Now, here it is, Matthew 10, 1 through 4. Matthew 10, 1 through 4. Now, I want you to get what is going on in this text. You've read it many times, but I think you might be overlooking some things that are clearly in the text for us to learn <clears throat> about relationships. And that is, here it is, Matthew 10, 1 through 4. I'm going to read just the first verse. Jesus called the 12 who were following him. This is the chapter in which Jesus now collectively brings them together. And he is saying, I need you to go out. I'm going to empower you. You're going to cast out demons. You're going to cast out spirits. You are going to be an extension of who I am. I am now giving you delegated authority. You're going to be my leaders in the earth. Now, I want you to grab something here. Jesus called them. He called them. Here are relationships in which Jesus is calling to himself. He picked these relationships. I want you to get it. He picked these relationships. And in every relationship, there has to be some terms and conditions. Every relationship, there got to be some terms and conditions. Now, what do we mean by that? Three out of the 12 relationships we are so familiar with that Jesus has called to be in relationship with him had terms and conditions. Here are the three. The first one is Judas. Come on. Bishop, are you sure there are terms and conditions? Yes. Grab a hold of what's happening here. Judas betrays Jesus. But it ain't like Judas invited himself. It's not like Judas just rolled up and said, you know what, I'm going to be a part of the posse. Mm, it's not like Judas says, I'm going to be uh, one of the apostles uninvited. Judas was invited by Jesus. And Jesus, as we know the story well, Jesus said, do what you need to do and do it quickly, Judas. For this reason, you were born. For this reason, you were born to betray me. And I knew this, but I still called you into relationship. That ain't all. Peter, the second one, first name, Simon, shifting sand. Jesus says, I'm going to change your name from shifting sand to Peter, the little pebble or the rock. Now, Jesus knew that Simon Peter was a cursing sailor and fisherman. Jesus knew he snaps. Jesus knew that, that Peter would go off. Jesus knew that there was going to be the day in which he says, who do men say that I am? Peter gets the answer, right? You are the son of God. And then he turns around when Jesus says, I'm going to die and be crucified. Peter grabs him, holds him. And then Jesus says, let me go, Satan. Get behind me. Check this out. Now, I want you to get this revelation. But Jesus knew this and he picked him in Matthew 10. And one. He called him to himself to be in relationships with him. Terms and conditions. The third relationship that we want to pick out of the 12 is John the Beloved. John the Beloved is the, that famous picture that we see. He writes in John, the Gospel of John, and he, he is the one that lays his head on the chest of Jesus in the Last Supper. He's the one that is watching from afar the crucifixion. He's the one that Jesus gives his mom to. Jesus picked him. So what do you get from this? What, this is what I need you to get from this. In terms and conditions and relationships, here's your takeaway. Guard your heart because every relationship has a purpose to get out of you. Jesus picked these men with fully knowing he was going to be betrayed by one, denied by one, loved by one. You have to understand something. 
every relationship that you find yourself in has a purpose. And it may have been negative. It may have been really painful. It may have been rough. But there was a purpose behind that relationship. And Jesus, you can't blame them. Jesus picked them. Jesus said, look, every one of y'all, I'm going to be in relationship with you. So the betrayal, the denial, the one who loves. Check it right now. Every relationship, they got terms and conditions. And they're going to exact something out of you. I'm going to have more of this tomorrow. If this bless you, bless somebody else. Share the manna. The Lord be with you. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. God bless you. See you tomorrow morning with more terms and conditions.